When this campaign started, Kevin Rudd's central pitch on the back porch of his house was that he was a new way. He was all about positive politics. How will he end the campaign? Well, this is an ad that has been released this very evening by the Labor Party. Hardly the same tone. Finally, every single Australian school is getting the funding they need, which means every single child in Australia is getting a better education, more teachers, more support staff. But Tony Abbott will take away the school kids' bonus and cut funding for every school in Australia, which means bigger classes, less teachers, less support staff, less programs. Just remember that when you cast your vote, because if he wins, our kids lose. Authorised G. Wright, ALP Canberra. Seriously, Tony Abbott's going to steal your kid's school bag, please. This is their final pitch. This is going to be the run home. The old lady uh, and the pensioner issues and paid parental leave, that ad has even been scrapped now. We're trying to make you afraid for your kids. You see, the research has come back to the Labor Party that in the ads that were similar to that, where they were turning off the lights on all the different people around Australia, it was kids literally little kids who are getting scared and turning to their parents saying, is that what's going to happen? Well, now they are making the direct play to scare your children. Now, please, we all know what's happening here is that at the very least, Tony Abbott has agreed for the next four years to match every single dollar that Labor is promising. As for years five and six, well, they'll get back to you. But last time I checked, we are only electing a government for the next three years. As much as Kevin Rudd, Julia Gillard and all of the Labor Party want it to seem like this was the only three years that will govern the future of our country, you are just custodians as a government for three years at a time. That ad is a perfect example of just how desperate and just how despicable some of the machine inside the Labor Party has become and how desperate they are to try to move the needle. But as the opinion polls have shown, over one month and an awful lot of scare, the best case scenario for the Labor Party is that it got better by one point. Even if it gets better by another point, they will still get smashed by the best part of 20 seats. That's the reality. We'll show you more of the opinion polls as they come to hand, but what a disgraceful thing for them to start the campaign saying that they were anti-negative politics and they end it by trying to scare your kids. Please. And I'm not a fan of the recorder, but still, that was a low blow.